My childhood was probably 70% boredom, 3% um, terror, but there were books. And when I was seven years old, a book changed my life. It was The Magic Pudding. And at the end of it, I decided I would be like them, that I was going to live in a house, in a tree, or at least surrounded by trees, with all the fruit and vegetables I wanted to eat, with really good conversation of an evening and pudding. Every book a child reads shows them what life can be, what they can be. They become every character in those books. Reading lets us understand not just the world around us and ourselves, but other people. Jackie has been uh, writing for over 20 years now and published close to 150 books in that time. And at the end of the day, I think she's a fabulous storyteller and we need more of those, I think, in our culture. She is the most powerful advocate that I've ever heard because children, teachers, parents, you, you see them respond to her because she does it with such warmth and conviction. I'm dyslexic. I can't spell. If you put two words on the board, I can't tell if one's spelled correctly or incorrectly. No one, including me, can read my handwriting, but it doesn't matter. Computers these days can do that for you. Computers can write neatly. Computers can correct your spelling, but computers cannot daydream. They cannot have a vision of what the world will be like. Every child can read. If I can read, anyone can read. Reading is probably the most powerful thing that you can give to a child, reading and stories. What are we going to do, moaned Big Bob? There aren't any sheep left for us to shear, added Ratso. The only way to ride in a car was with your head out the window and your tongue lolling out and your ears flapping in the wind. Every book is written with such passionate love for the country, but deep-seated knowledge. She knows this country. She walks it, she loves it. She discovers it every day of her life. I know a very small part of Australia very well, but I hope reading my books, kids will understand how you can love a country. Loving a small bit of the land really helps your love of the entire planet to develop. It's really what she writes about. A lot of her writings are reflected in the valley itself. The stories that you tell your kids will tell them who they are. Tell them the stories of when you were young, when their grandparents were young, when their great-grandparents were young. These are the stories that don't just teach kids who they are, but they pass down the values that are important. We're not born with empathy. We're not born with human values. They need to be taught. Future generations will absolutely utter Jackie French's name in the same breath as they do uh, current literary legends such as Banjo Patterson, Mae Gibbs and Norman Lindsay. People think of Jackie as a children's author. She's not, she's an author for Australia. She's an author for all of us. I wrote my first book when I was six on a Sunday afternoon because I was very, very bored and I'd run out of books to read. Since then, I write if I'm bored, I write if I'm happy, I write if I am sad. I write as a reaction to almost anything, but increasingly, as the years of being a writer have gone by, I write for another reason. I write because I realise that books do have the power to change lives.